What's up, collective? It's your girl, the Flight Empress, and I am here to give you guys an energy update regarding this full moon. This full moon I snuck up on my ass. It was just a new moon not too long ago, y'all. When I say the days are starting to speed up, I don't know if y'all noticing that, but the days, the months, the years are like speeding by right now. Real talk. But yeah, we got a full moon on the 25th. I'm recording this on the 23rd. And this full moon is called the worm moon. Okay, and it's going to be in the sign of Libra. We also got a lunar eclipse <laughs> that's coming in on that same day. And guess what, y'all? Guess what's going to be coming on April Fool's Day? Mercury retrograde. <laughs> If y'all anything like me, you already feel it. You can already feel it. You can have stuff going on with your electronics, with your technology, all of that stuff. But yeah, but I'm picking up like a very powerful energy that's going to be coming off of this full moon in this eclipse. Um, Let me look up the meaning. Let me see. I think I already had it pulled up. And let me pull this back from this desk so this sorry y'all so that way <laughs> that way the camera don't be shaking when i'm trying to you know shuffle the cards and stuff but it says this year the worm moon is positioned as a full moon in libra an air zodiac sign that is represented by the symbolic images of the scales in balance this shows their neat desire for fairness justice and logic so yeah okay y'all so i'm getting like with this full moon spirit ancestors are going to be bringing in some type of justice in your life where there's been some type of injustice there's going to be some type of justice fairness truth clarity and i feel like if you've been facing this like in your external world where you felt like something wasn't right or it wasn't fair to you or it was some type of injustice, I feel like you're about to get your justice around this time. And with that eclipse, something is being taken out, okay, or something is being removed or your spirit guides are going to be requiring you to remove certain things from your life that no longer serves you or it no longer serves your soul's growth. A lot of you guys are going through some type of spiritual evolution at this time. And there could be, okay, especially by us being in the pre-shadow phases of Mercury retrograde, you could be having some people from your past trying to come back into your life, okay? They wanna talk to you, they wanna holler at you, they just wanna catch up, they just wanna talk a little bit, see how you doing, yeah, yeah. And I feel like your spirit guys are like, no, hell no, to the no, no, no. That's what I'm hearing, I'm so serious, y'all. Okay, cause for some of you guys, uh, well, I'm picking up for a majority of the people that watch me, okay, especially for like my A1 day ones. For those of you who've been on your spiritual path for a very long time, you are in your North Node, okay? And by you being in your North Node, it requires you to do certain things, okay? There's a map that you have to follow. And for a lot of you guys, you are following this map. OK, your angels and your ancestors are your GPS. They are guiding you at this time on this path, on this road, on this new adventure in your life. For some of you guys, spirit is requiring you to step up in your life or to not just sit back and wait for things to come to you, but for you to take action and go to it. OK, so for, I'm picking up for a lot of you guys. You're in this very productive type of energy. I feel like you could be very focused at this time. You ain't got time for distractions. You ain't got time for people who just want to play in your energy or just want to waste your time or they just want to sit around and talk about nonsense. They just want to gossip or talk about what happened on a new. I don't feel like you guys are really in that energy. It's like right now you are in a, the spirit of growth. OK, something about the spirit of growth being on you. And it's like. You can't help but to do it or to get it done or you know it has to be done and i feel like you're going to have a discerning spirit where you're going to be able to call out certain distractions or certain things that 
is in your way okay obstacles this could be people or even places okay it's certain things you're going to be able to see that hey maybe you need to stop doing as well okay what it is eating too much or not eating enough or you know making sure you're taking your vitamins going and get your checkups and stuff done um but i'm picking up like you being very focused on your health on your environment what's going on in your immediate environment um but i'm hearing getting things in order okay because you're following god's orders at this time so it's certain things that got to be in order in your life in order for you to keep going to the next steps or to the next phase in your life is I'm, I'm almost seeing like the stairway to heaven spirit is showing me like a long stairway and um i'm seeing people clamming clamming up the stairs okay um a lot of you guys you could be going through some type of ascensions at this time as well um but i'm hearing to tell you to keep your energy clear okay of negative energy so you know make sure you're saging okay smudging your home um for some of you guys you could be needing to put down some black salt or some goofer dust okay especially if you have a lot of traffic in your home be careful about who you allow in your home to or what objects you bring into your home is what i'm being told um but i'm hearing detoxifying your energy um for some of you guys you're needing to take like fish oils um this i'm also hearing something about amino acids um folic acid okay something i'm hearing something to stimulate the brain or even to like clear your blood vessels okay i'm for some of you guys you can be dealing with high cholesterol Fish oils will be very good for this. Um, but I'm also hearing stimulating your mind. So there could be a need for you to do some type of physical activity or make sure like you're reading books or you're learning something new every day. But I really feel like for a lot of you guys, it's like spirit is preparing you for something big. Whatever this is, it's something big that's coming into your life and your temple needs to be in tip top shape okay we need to take care of our temple right now family that's what i'm being told so and also be very careful who you're sharing your sexual energy with as well um and you might not even be engaging with these people you might not even be intimate with them but just say for instance you got a romantic partner that you cut off this is your ex and this person was very toxic still is toxic but they coming off to you like they done cleaned up their life or they are cleaning up their life they talking about all the things that they gonna do or will do and all that stuff um but the, it's like the more you engage with this person they're tapping into your sexual energy the more energy you give them you never know you could be on the phone with this person they masturbating to you okay and you be wondering why you're so tired and drained when you get off the phone with them so there's a i'm telling you guys there is a need for you to be very careful at this time stay focused and grounded and pray every day okay when you wake up in the morning you need to pray before you go to sleep you need to pray Shit on your way to work you need to pray 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 okay at the end of it meditate see what spirit is telling you okay or sit in silence or in peace and let god give you answers okay always remember family prayer is how we talk to god or we ask god for things okay that that's our request when we meditate that's how we receive the answers okay so anyway let's go ahead and jump into this y'all uh we're gonna pull a couple of angel numbers okay let me get my mind and my my uh lips in cynic with each other because sometimes i think too fast and my mouth be like blah 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 and i be like huh <laughs> spirit show me what i need to see for the collective regarding this full moon what's the vibration what's the energy what's the frequency that we can expect off of this full moon in this lunar eclipse that's coming in Show me what I need to see for the collective. What can we expect here? Okay, 
Okay, we got 12. So, lots of numbers. Okay, so we got 12, we got 23, and we got 36. Okay. Um, <laughs> got 33 at the bottom of the deck. So, for some of you guys, you could be seeing a lot of threes. We got a lot of threes here. Okay. Um, I'm hearing Trinity. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Something about you guys being in a covet with the Most High at this time. I'm hearing nobody else can have access at this time, especially people who are toxic or low vibrational. Something about you being in a covenant with the Most High right now. Our spirit is co-creating with you, working with you, building with you. So the number 12, this is the hangman, ain't it? I think 12 is the hangman energy. So this is giving me taking a pause. For some of you guys, you could be taking a pause or you could be trying to figure out your ne next move, your next step. Or maybe spirit is asking for you to take a pause at this time. You could be doing too much. You could be trying to get so much done at one time or, you know, I'm here and take your time, breathe, make sure you're still enjoying life. Okay. Cause you can get burnt out real quick. So there's a need for you to prioritize at this time. Okay. Like if you got to clean up your whole house or if you're doing spring cleaning, do one room at a time. Don't be trying to do the whole house in one day. Okay. And you know, you got to be at work the next day. Um, yeah, that's what I'm hearing here. For some of you guys, you're trying to rush something and you're needing to slow down. One and two is three. This is giving me the Empress energy. So yeah, something about you guys being in your Empress energy or this is what you're needing to do or this is what spirit is, is making right now. Something about spirit making things with you or... I keep hearing creating. So anytime you think about the Empress energy, you think about fertility, right? Not just when a woman give birth to a child, but growth. Okay. Um, she got wheat and she got a river. Okay. On the car. She got trees all around her. Um, she got six, I mean, 12 stars on her head. Like the Empress is abundant. Okay. So something about spirit is making you very abundant right now for some of you guys this is regarding work or something you're going to be working on okay we also got 23 two and three this is five so this is like the hierophant energy that's what i'm seeing y'all the empress and the hierophant this is like the empress and a higher fit working together. That's what I'm hearing here. Like you're working with the creator, with the most high source. Okay. You got a lot of help. I'm also hearing teachings. Something about spirit teaching you things. Okay. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you passed a major test. Okay. And it's like you're getting prepared for a new test in your life. But I'm hearing that the past test that you took was like a pretest for the final exam <laughs> okay i don't know y'all but that's what i'm hearing here something about a final exam but i feel like you know this you know this test like the back of your hand okay i feel like there's a lot of chapters you don't close out of your life and i feel like you learned the lesson from those chapters but something about those chapters are trying to pop back up or people are trying to reopen chapters you don't close and it's like you already don't learn from this okay um something about final test here you could have a lot of things that could be trying to pop up from the past um this could also be like past things you went through this could have been things that you went through when you was younger. Um, it's kind of giving me like 
just say for instance, you know, you come from a big family, there could have been a lot of responsibilities on you. You could have grew up very fast. You could have had to cook, uh, get your siblings or your cousin clothes out, you know, clean up the house, uh, wash them, do their hair, fold clothes, like something about uh, for some of you guys, you had to you had to grow up very fast. But I feel like your life was designed this way because something big is coming and something about you guys being very responsible or having to be very mature at a young age. OK, it's kind of it's kind of sad. You know, what I'm saying that you, if this happened to you, that you had to grow up so fast. But at the same time, there was a lot of things that you needed to learn real fast because there's something very special that's coming towards you. OK, for some of you guys, you're being placed in a leader position, a teacher position. You can have a lot of people coming towards you. A lot of people are wanting you to mentor them or you will be mentoring people or helping people or giving people guidance. I'm hearing give a man a fish, you'll feed him for a day. Teach a man a fish, you'll feed him for a lifetime. I've been hearing that phrase so much. So something about you guys teaching people, okay? But I'm also hearing teaching people from your past. These are people or karmics that you had to deal with from your past. You could be teaching them a major lesson at this time and you don't even have to touch them. It's what I'm hearing. It's like everybody going to learn from you. The good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> okay, something like that, y'all. Mm-hmm. Something is going to come crumbling down is what I'm hearing too. For some of you guys, you can end up hearing about a church, okay, or some type of corruption in a church. But I'm hearing something here is going to come crumbling down. But I really feel like it's these false people, okay? Something about false people around you. Or there was people that tried to take advantage of you or mistreat you or abuse you. It's like their life is about to crumble down. Okay. Uh, we got 36. Okay. Somebody could be 36, 23. Um, but I'm seeing a hermit. So I feel like a lot of people are going to be reflecting over you. Okay. Or maybe you said something to these people and it's like they thinking about it now. I just heard everything they said came to pass. Something about everything you said came to pass. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you got the heart of gold or something about you being pure, okay? You got a pure heart despite what you've been through. I'm hearing a lot of you guys don't even look like what you done been through, but yeah, you got a pure heart here. And I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to have people from your past. that spirit is going to send you. And it's so you can enlighten them or wake them up. And then after that, drop them. <laughs> okay, block them. Just like that. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Okay. That's what I'm hearing too. Some of you guys, you're going to wake up people um, that betrayed you or hurted you. And then like out of the blue, you can just end up blocking these people. We also got the number two. Okay, this is the high priestess energy. So yeah, okay. High priestess talk about um, inner knowing, knowledge, higher self, okay? Secrets, something about you knowing people's secrets or you know what's wrong with people. You can end up telling them this and you're gonna have them stuck like, what the fuck, okay? They could try to keep um, getting in contact with you. But I feel like spirit is gonna tell you to block them or. You know, that's all that you need to say. It's going to be up to them to, to take responsibility to change their life. Okay, you can't do it for them. You just give them the tools and they, they're going to have to do it themselves. Okay. Hmm. Now, somebody could be a, um, a Libra, Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, Pisces. Okay. Let's look these numbers up real quick. Okay, family. 
Let's look them up. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> I just heard dun 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 dun. Who know who that song? What that song is? Who sang that song? Y'all. Oh my goodness! Break me off. Show me what you got, cause I don't want no one minute, man. <laughs> okay, somebody could be listening to Missy Elliott. Okay, it says angel number twelve means something in your life has been completed, and it's time to turn your attention away from the past and look into the future. This number blends the energies of the numbers one and two. Number one is linked to fresh starts or something new on the horizon. Okay, what else? Do it say anything else? But basically, yeah. So yeah, something in your life has completed. I don't know, y'all. It ain't showing me the rest of it. Something in your life has completed. And it's time for you to turn your attention away from the past and look towards the future. I don't know why I'm getting like crabs in a bucket. Like there's some people or there's a situation here that's trying to keep you stuck or they want you to turn around and 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 come back to them or look at them or talk to them or something. Okay. I'm hearing that song, turn around every now and then. <laughs> oh, God, it's a commercial, y'all. Let me quit. Y'all know I get goofy when I get sleepy. Um, let me see. Mm, 23. Angel number 23 helps to be creative. The number 23 that the angels show us is all about being creative and expressing ourselves. It's like a reminder to think about what what's being creative means to us and how we can show that to the world. Creativity is super important for how we feel and how happy we are. Yeah, I've noticed that, y'all. When I'm in my creative energy, I'm so freaking happy. Don't nothing bother me. <laughs> okay, nothing in the way. I don't care. I don't care what's going on outside of what I'm doing up in here. You know, it just takes my mind away from trouble, from stress, from whatever's coming, whatever happened in the past. It put me in a now energy, you know? So it is being creative and building and making things is like a joy of mine. So, family, for some of you guys, I feel like you're going to start feeling like this, too. And you're going to realize that you're actually really good at what you create or what you build. Okay? Some of you guys, you're still trying to find your niche. But I feel like it's going to come to you. And that's why I was telling y'all, make sure y'all pray. Make sure you pray. Make sure you send your request to the most high if you are confused about what you're supposed to do or you know what you can create you will get this back in a vision or in a meditation okay and when this do come back you might say oh, i don't know how to do that shit i don't know how to do that um google that's what google for that's what youtube is for <laughs> okay look at tutorials that's what that's for go get a book okay go to books a million go to barnes and noble whatever okay do your research, learn it, okay? Everything that I've ever done, nobody has taught me. I had to teach myself. So if you really want to do it, you will do it, okay? You will find a way, baby. You will make a way out of no way. Okay, let me see, 36. What does 36 mean spiritually? The number 36 is all about spiritual enlightenment. It is asking you to look within and focus your spiritual life just as much as you focus on your material life. We build our lives from the inside out. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I'm so happy that I looked up at my camera because my camera had stopped. And when I was listening to it, I could hear like some little static or something in the background. I'm telling you, Mercury Retrograde has been kicking my ass. <laughs> Okay, yeah, and this, that's just like when I did the Libra reading. It just cut off in the middle of the reading. I don't understand it. I don't. Anyway, y'all, so I hope I stopped. 
I hope y'all can hear something because I don't know what the hell is going on. I really don't. But I'm going to keep going. It's showing that it's recording and the volume and stuff is up. So I'm going to keep going. Shit. Because I had, baby, I had done went through all of this right here, child. So let me go back. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it says, what does 36 mean spiritually? The number 36 is all about a spiritual enlightenment. It is asking you to look within and focus your spiritual life just as much as you focus on your material life. We build our lives from the inside out. So like I'm like I said, family, make sure that you are in, you are balanced in every area of your life, mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. Sometimes we um lack in certain areas and we put more energy in other areas okay i noticed that with a lot of us we put more energy into the physical part of our life when we need to be balanced in all areas so just make sure family that you're taking time out for spirit for the most high okay make sure um you're praying okay morning noon and night okay like i said prayer is how we request things from god okay in meditation is how we receive and when when you pray don't just go right into asking god for things or asking him to fix things or bring you things okay first give him honor and the glory okay thank him for everything that you have everything you're going through everything you've been through um show him gratitude okay uh then you go into asking for certain things in your life but first you give honor to him. Okay. Some people have it all wrong. Um, also, like I said, make sure y'all doing y'all spiritual baths. Um, you know, if you got to, if you feel like you need to put down extra protection, get you some black salt, put around your home or some goofer dust and put it around your home. Um, keep your house clean as, as much as you can. Make sure you keep your floors and stuff clean, your windows clean. Um, God like cleanliness. OK, so if you are in an area where it's a lot of clutter or a lot of dirt, you need to get rid of it. OK, that's all I've been doing is spring cleaning. <laughs> I've been throwing shit away that I don't need. The kids don't need uh, if it's bro whatever it's, it's been going to the trash. OK, I ain't, I ain't savaging nothing, um, you know, but yeah. So you yeah, have family. So just make sure that you are. um staying up on your spiritual health okay i'm also hearing you're needing to drink more water if there's messages that you've been requesting from spirit a lot of you guys are severely dehydrated or like yeah i'm hearing sticky like your blood could be very sticky maybe you drink a lot of coffee or drinks or you know beverages but it's not water so Something about you're needing to drink more water. This will help replenish you and it will help you to receive the signals or the messages more clearly. Okay, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. In, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. In numerology, angel number 36 is a combination of energies and vibrations of three and six. The number three represent creativity, self-expression, and expansion. The number six represent harmony, stability, and nurturing. Together, they create powerful energetic force that brings balance and stability in all areas of life. What? Okay, what I just say? What I just say? Seeing angel number 36 repeatedly is a message from the divine that you are on the right path in your life. It's an encouragement from the angels to continue on your journey with confidence and faith that everything is going to be working out in your highest good. You may also be receiving these messages as a reminder to keep your thoughts positive and focus on your intentions. Okay. Okay, family. Yes. Forget everything else. <laughs> okay. Focus on what you're trying to get done, what you're trying to complete, what you're trying to do. The task at hand, what God is appointing you to do. Stay focused on the assignment. Okay. So, anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump into these messages. Okay. We're going to see the energy around this time. Okay. For some of you guys, this could be your zodiac or this could be. 
somewhere in your chart. Okay, this could also be certain people in your energy that spirit wants you to be aware of. Or certain people that could be coming in. You never know. Spirit, show me what I need to see for the collective regarding this full moon. Show me what I need to see regarding this full moon. The collective needs to know. Uh, they go Mercury. <laughs> they go Mercury retrograde. But I like that it's in the upright, though. I do. Okay. Some of, you, some of you guys could be a Pisces or a Gemini Virgo. We got Aries energy here as well. Okay. We also got Cancer energy. A lot of water. A lot of emotions to be staring at this time. We got Cancer again in the reverse. We got Virgo. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm not going to take all these, y'all, but we got Pisces, Crown Chakra. We got Sagittarius, and we also got Aquarius energy here. So for some of you guys, um, I feel like some type of knowledge is going to come towards you, okay? And this could be regarding a person or somebody who lack empathy somebody that could be draining your energy okay i feel like there's something here that you're trying to achieve or build but there's an energy here that's trying to hold you back i'm getting mad somebody could be mad at you okay or they will be mad show me what i need to see here for the collective we got aquarius Okay, came on out. Okay, so this is giving me a lot of water over here. So, like I said, there could be somebody who's really, really in their emotions at this time. Okay, and it could be because you done cut this person off. This could have been somebody who was draining you of your sacral chakra, your sexual energy. Okay, the sacral chakra not only governs your sexual energy, but your creativity. Okay, your joy, your passion, your pleasure. Um, this is your emotional center. Somebody was trying to drain you of this. And I feel like it's being revealed to you or it it will be revealed to you that this person, that's what they was doing here. This is somebody who's going to get very aggressive that you found out about them. You found them out. You found out what they was trying to do. You found out... Um, that this was somebody that you had to let go of or you had to cut off. There's some type of enlightenment that's going to come in towards you regarding this person. Okay. For some of you guys, this could be a cancer or you could be a cancer. I feel like some type of way this person is going to want to try to come in and talk to you or somebody is going to try to come in and talk to you. And this could be doing Mercury retrograde. This could be a Virgo or you could be a Virgo. But somebody is going to want to come in and talk to you. Okay, but this is giving me the energy of like, I don't have time. Okay, look at Beyonce, how she look. No, <laughs> when Beyonce is being creative or if she's um finna get ready to go on a road for a show or a tour, baby, she focused. Okay, everybody need to be in line. Everybody need to be ordered. All them steps need to be in sync. Okay, um, somebody off cue, she gonna let them know. It's like, you're too busy. That's what I'm hearing here. You're too busy. Right now, you could be um, analyzing certain things or working on certain things. You got a big responsibility at this time. Like I said, you are building. You could be building something new or something that you never did before. But I feel like um, you're not. <laughs> Somebody is going to be mad because you don't want to talk to them. Okay. Or you block them. Or you could tell them, hey, nah, I don't want to talk to you. We ain't got nothing to talk about. I'm busy. OK, I got work to do, but it's like you already know that whoever this is, they're going through a lot. This is somebody who could be suffering from some type of um, this could be a bad relationship. This person is going through or this could be like a bad breakup. Something about this person wanting to leave a bad relationship 
or this is somebody who just recently broke up with somebody to come to you but it's like now they realize you beyonce so now they really want to be with you okay or the spotlight is on you and you see this okay or this person undid this before i feel like this is a chapter that you already done closed and this could be romantically but this could also be certain people from your past okay there's certain people that you already done discovered who they are and you decided to walk away from them yeah Oh, whoever this is, family, I feel like they're wanting to get some type of reaction out of you. This person wants your attention. They want you to be focused on them. And it's making them mad that you're not doing this. Okay. Uh, it's like you got better things to do. Okay. You could have gave whoever this is a lot of attention in the past. All right. But that's how you lost yourself or that's how you fell stuck or, you know, that's how you even started your own spiritual healing, okay? Like I said, you already done learned the lessons. So it's kind of giving me like that same energy trying to come back and do the same thing. And it's like, you're looking at this like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> are you serious? Okay, you must think I'm crazy. You think I'm boo-boo the fool. Is that what it is? Okay, do I got stupid written across my forehead? Yeah, somebody think you're gullible, okay? Somebody hate that you know so much about them or you got some type of knowledge about them. But I feel like you received these messages. OK, whatever you know about this person, it might not have came from someone else. This could have came from a messenger. I'm here, a messenger of God. OK, that gave you some knowledge about this person. I feel like a lot of you guys, you have found closure. And it's like you not bitter about what happened in the past. Uh, you could forgive this person as well, but that don't mean that you got to go back. And you could be letting this person know that, you know, like. We cool, you know, I, it ain't no ill will, no Ill, Ill intent towards you, you know, but I'm happy. And, you know, I just don't really see myself coming back to you, you know, or allowing you back into my life. No, nah, I don't think we need to be friends. OK, because a lot of you guys know that they use that as a way to try to um, sneak back in. But I feel like you honestly, even if they want to be friends, I just feel like you don't want this person in your aura or in your energy right now. You can know that this is an energy vampire. This is somebody who do a temper tantrum when they don't get their way. OK, it's like whoever this is, they're going to try to transmute their negative energy on to you. Do not let this person do that. Don't let this person do that. Okay. This is somebody who feel like you should be focused only on them. Okay. Very self-centered and arrogant. It's, it's, it's kind of giving me a narc. Okay. Yeah. This person is emotionally unstable as well. This is somebody who thought they had you, okay? They thought they had you or they thought that, that if they said the right things to you, that you was going to come crawling back toward them. But I'm not seeing you guys doing that at all, okay? You just kind of looking at this person like, what you want, okay? Like, why are you still calling me? Why are you still texting me? Why are you emailing me? And y'all, this is crazy, okay? Because a lot of times when I do the collective readings, it definitely resonates with me as well. So the other night, well, let me just first say, I've been having this ex that's been trying to, um, you know, sneak back into my life or whatever. Uh, he'll call and, you know, we'll chit chat on the phone and he'll tell me about what he's going through and this and that. So I gave him a revelation, you know, I gave him an enlightenment. I let him know that, you know, I do tarot. Um, and I pick up on energy now. I'm a channeler. And so I just started spitting, you know, telling him everything that done happened to him and why he is the way he is now and why he's going through what he's going through now. And, you know, if he stay in that energy, what's going to happen in the future and all of that. And so I gave him, you know, a big enlightenment. He was just shocked at the end of it. So like after that, y'all, when I say this person kept calling me every day every day like just calling me 
And it's start like I noticed that like every time this person called me, I'm like, oh my God, what do we, what do we want? Like, what is it? You know? And I was like, why do I even feel like this? Like, why why do I feel drained to the point where I don't want to talk to him, you know, anymore? And I told him, I said, you know, I said, I noticed that your energy is a lot lighter. I said, you know, you laughing a lot more. I said, when you talk to me on the phone, when you do get off, do you feel better? He was like, yeah, I feel better. I said, that's an exchange of energy. And I said, I've noticed that when I get off the phone with you, I feel drained. And I said, God has told me that I can't allow certain people in my energy anymore. He's like, oh, well, if you don't want to talk to me no more, he tried to, you know what I'm saying? You know how they try to do child, okay? Especially them narcs. They'll try to flip it in a minute to make it seem like you're the bad person. I'm like, it's not even like that. I said, this is just something that, um, this is a gift that I don't unlocked. And I don't care who you are. If I feel like you're draining me, I will cut you off. And I said, it's not nothing against you, but I have to honor God. I have to honor my spirit. And so after that, y'all, I think that night I had a dream. I dreamt that he was working on his car. He was under the hood on his car. And it's, it kind of gave me like he got a lot of work that he got to do within, okay, in the motor. <laughs> okay but also in the physical body because it showed me a hood but it also showed me another hood on top of that hood and the hood was white but the car was red and so like seeing that it just gave me the energy of like he got a lot of work that he needs to do a lot and then it's like god showed me a slide screen and I was in the gym. I was in high school. I was in the gym. Um, I'm guessing I was on a majorette team. And I remember us going out on the floor, but I had a stain on my uniform. So I had to leave the floor. I'm like, I can't perform if I got a stain on my uniform. So I go to the back and I'm trying to find another uniform. And, you know, and they was performing. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm missing the performance. And at the end of it, I was finally able to, you know, um, catch the end act. But it's the simple fact that what I got from that dream was this person got a lot of work to do. OK, and if I continue to allow him to be in my energy, I'm going to miss out on the greatest gift that's coming into my life. OK, trying to help him or trying to help him fix himself. And so after that, when I say y'all. I cut block block that ass okay in a heartbeat I don't care how he feel I don't care what he think I don't give a shit okay when God tell me to do something I do it and it's crazy because like I said he was working under the hood and on my uniform it was all on my uniform and <laughs> it was a crazy dream y'all but it made so much sense to me so family, if you are getting like revelations and stuff like that, spirit is wanting for you to take heed, okay? You're not just having those dreams just to be having them, okay? I also dreamt about a big ass rat. <laughs> now, I still don't know if that was with him or that somebody else, but I dreamt of a big ass black rat. So, yeah. Anyway, y'all. Mm -hmm. But let's see. Let's see. Let's pull some some cards because my ass been talking every time I look up something going on with this phone, with this camera. Let me see. All right, y'all. I hope y'all can hear me because <laughs> you just never know. OK, Mercury retrograde. They be playing with our asses for real. Spirit, show me what I need to see here. For the collective with this full moon in this lunar eclipse what's going to be taking place divine holy spirit truth and clarity give me enlightenment truth of faith and truth of faith <laughs> test of faith and truth okay something about your faith will be tested but there will be truth revealed to you Spirit, show me what I need to see. I'm hearing trust how you feel. Trust how you feel. It's that simple. 
Don't second guess yourself at this time, family. Show me what I need to see for the collective. What do they need to know, spirit, for this full moon? Full moon. Okay, we got the Chinese zodiac sign, the rats. Okay, some of you guys could have been born in 1960, 72, 84, 96, um, 08. Or somebody could have had a child in 2008 or 2020. But this card talks about smart, quick-witted, flexible, adaptable, outgoing, forthright, disciplined, systematic, hardworking, charming. So fertility. So I feel like something is definitely coming towards you. You could be the zodiac sign of red or is somebody else. Okay. But if you are the red, you are very compatible with the ox and a dragon. This is the year of the dragon. So I feel like there's some type of success that's going to be coming towards you. But then I just tell y'all, I saw a big ass red. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I saw a big ass red. I'm trying to tell you. And Y'all, you cannot make this up. Okay, careless, negligence, forgetful, rat, sneaky. So, family, I feel like um, there's somebody here that's very sneaky, okay, that's trying to come towards you or they're trying to take some type of abundance or gift that you have. Um, this could be somebody who's very careless, very reckless. Uh, they don't care who they hurt. They don't care who they got to go through um, to get what they want. This is somebody who is relentless. I'm hearing this person is relentless, especially on getting you back into their life. This is somebody who um, I'm hearing has worn out their welcome. This could be with you or somebody that they're dealing with, but this person don't worn out their welcome. And I feel like this is somebody who could be very strategic at this time or is currently plotting, okay, to come in and talk to you. Um, but it's giving me like whoever this is, this is somebody who is going to be manipulative when they come in. And it's like if you don't fall for their manipulation, they just might snap, okay? It, it, that's the energy it's giving me. This is somebody who might spaz out. <laughs> uh they're showing me uh the movie the witches i don't know if y'all ever seen it i think it i think it came out back in the early or the late 1980s or early 1990s but it talked about a coven of witches and um at the end like they would turn the kids into like rats or whatever they hated kids so they would give them chocolates and stuff like that but at the end um the mouse that they had turned into well the kid that they had turned into a mouse they put poison inside of the soup so all the witches ended up turning into a rat and so it's showing me like somebody who's been wishing ill intent on you or has been trying to do some type of black magic on you to stop you or prevent your growth or your happiness Whatever this person has been trying to do to you, it's about to happen to them or it is happening to them, okay? Something about burnt up, okay? Or this is somebody who's about to be on fire. Um, Somebody could be in a literal fire, but I rebuke that. I don't wish that on no one. But um, it's kind of giving me the piss of hell. Somebody is about to get roasted by the most high for um sending negative energy your way okay show me what i need to see okay we got dreams of snakes okay what's up with these snakes in these damn rats hey what what's up with your family you could be having um dreams of snakes or enemies i'm also hearing predators or like things that is very odd but i'm hearing dreams of your enemies okay like are people who do not need to be in your aura at this time it's going to be exposed to you and it could come to you in the form of an animal okay 
Yeah, somebody don't like that you are a spirit guide for other people or that other people listen to you. I'm seeing jealousy here. I'm hearing regretful. Okay, somebody is going to regret sending some negative energy to Earth Angel. We got strange things, but it came out in a reverse. Okay. So this could have been somebody who caused a lot of strange things to happen in your life or like you was noticing certain things. For some of you guys, you could have been seeing like gnats or um, I'm hearing mishaps, like things that shouldn't happen or shouldn't normally happen would happen. Okay, something like that. I'm hearing like this is going to stop or something is definitely going to be going back. Somebody else is going to start experiencing these things. But I feel like this is what they sent towards you. Somebody hate that you're very creative, okay? Or you go after your desires. You're very determined. Somebody don't like that you are determined. I feel like whoever this is, they got dark secrets. It's a lot of things that people don't know about them, but I feel like you do know, and that's why they hate you so much. <sighs> okay, we got narcotic. An addiction could be ruining somebody's life. So yeah, somebody do have an addiction. Somebody got an addiction, and I, this could be, this could be anything. Somebody could be drinking too much. Okay, somebody could be popping too many pills, smoking too much weed, snorting, shooting up. I don't know what they're doing, child. But somebody definitely got an addiction. But some of you guys, whoever this is, they got an addiction to you. Okay, you are their addiction. All right, and this is somebody, like I said, they could be mad because you are advancing in your life. They see a lot of growth with you. And now they want to return into your life, but they only going to return to cause mishaps. Okay, or misfortune. Child, be careful. Be just watch these folks. Watch them. Hey, they ain't no good. Someone you're not expecting is about to reach out to you. I'm telling you, look, y'all. Somebody is about to reach out to you. Okay. But this person is a whole issue. Okay. A whole problem within itself. Spirit wants you to be very careful who you engage with. Okay. Don't be careless, y'all. Don't you forget. It's okay to forgive people, but never forget what people do to you. Okay, that's how you learn. Spirit, show me what I need to see. What else? Okay, yeah, we got to do it. Even if you are afraid. So there's something here that you are needing to take action in. Even if you don't have all the answers, even if um, there's a lot you still need to learn about it, fear wants you to do it anyway, okay? Because I feel like the answers are going to come to you as you go, okay? You're going to learn as you go. Um, this could be something that you, st um, you might start working on. Like this could be something regarding your creativity. Um, but this is also family. If there's somebody here that you know is draining your energy, you could be afraid to block them. It's kind of giving me like a people pleaser type of energy. Spirit is saying, do it anyway. Okay, do it even if you're afraid. Okay, um, the only person that this is going to hurt is you. So there's something here you're needing to take action on. Okay, something could have took in place um, in December. Okay, regarding the last full moon. I mean, not the last full moon, but the full moon in December. Something could have happened during the last full moon for some of you guys. Okay. We got disagreements and arguments. So somebody is definitely going through something right now. This could be you or somebody around you. Okay. Yeah. They're mad because um, you're not talking to them. This could be somebody who's holding a grudge. Okay. Against you because you're not talking to them. Or you're not giving them any energy. Okay. Yeah. This card is yellow. This is giving me power, strength, um, wisdom, whatever. 
this person is mad because you're holding back at this time. This could be somebody who's jealous or they feel like uh, you got somebody else in your energy. If you're not giving them energy, then you must be giving somebody else your energy. OK, but I'm, I'm also seeing that there are people here that's jealous of you or you will experience people being jealous of you. And it's because you are going through a new phase or a level up in your life. OK. OK, intimidated by your influence on others. So, yeah, somebody is mad because you are influencing other people or you got some type of rank. But I feel like this is not only in the physical, this is in the spiritual realm as well. All right. This is somebody who's just going to have to sit back and deal with it, because if they try you or if they come towards you, it's immediate karma. OK, we got God card. <laughs> OK, what did I just say? And this is coming out with this jealous energy. It says get ready to receive a gift that you have been wishing for is being granted. So there is some type of gift that's going to be coming into you, family, in this cycle. OK, I feel like this is going to be between this moon this full moon that's coming up the worm moon and the next full moon you got a gift that's coming in towards you okay and like i said you do got jealous energies that's gonna have to sit back and watch this but i'm hearing there is nothing that they can do all right spirit is wanting for you to stop giving them your energy okay or don't give them your energy because what haters gonna do haters gonna hate that's their job that's what they're supposed to do so I'm hearing is it, they can't touch you though they cannot touch you no oh dang why did i just hear why did i just hear even the devil works for god okay so like even the devil can't go against god so if these people are trying to send you black magic or trying to send you negative energy or they're trying to lower your vibration or tarnish your name um, around other people, like no matter what they're trying to do to you, okay, God is not going to allow this to phase you or to touch you. This is somebody who's going to have to sit in their own misery. It's what I'm hearing, family. That's what I heard. They're going to have to sit in their own energy. Okay. And however they feel about you, it's going to come back to them. But it's going to come back in a different form. Something about darkness. Okay. We got mustache and beard. Okay. You can have a mustache and beard or this person got a mustache and beard. But we got monitoring spirits. Someone is trying to send entities to monitor your life. I'm telling you, family, look, the devil was trying to send this person to monitor you. Okay. Our monitoring spirits was trying to send this person to monitor you. You peep this. Okay. And you block this ASAP. Yeah. Yeah. This person is very dark. Okay, very dark, very gloomy. This could be somebody who's very sad or something about this person live in a dark place or I don't know why I'm here in dark alley, but this person is very dark. This person could be dark complected. But yeah. Okay, this happened for your protection. Spirit wants you to know you're being protected at this time. That's why you can't deal with them. That's why you got to let them go. Okay, something could have took took in place around October, October full moon. Okay, the hunter's moon. Somebody could have been born in October. Okay, spirit is saying that you have limitless possibilities. So there could be something big that's going to be coming in for you, family, this year. And I feel like you got a lot of blessings that's going to come in. But I'm hearing rolling in. Okay, so this is not giving me like one little thing here and maybe another thing and then a year over with. I'm here and rolling in. You got blessings coming in. Okay. You are heavy on someone's mind. I'm telling you. You heavy on somebody's mind right now, collective. All right. It's this rat. <laughs> it's this big fat ass rat <laughs> that need to be in a rat trap somewhere. I'm going to have to hook this phone up in a minute. Let me see. Spirit, what else? Oh. Hold on, y'all.
beware of distractions okay dreams of snakes i'm telling you spirit wants you guys to be aware of distractions at this time there's people that's going to try to tempt you there's people who's going to try to take your mind off of something that's very important whatever you're doing around this time it's important okay spirit is wanting for you to complete it to get it done okay to stay focused and this person is also whoever this is they they are coming in and they ain't talking about shit they ain't talking about nothing whatever they talk about is boring okay it don't interest you <laughs> it don't make you excited it don't make you happy or none of that a lot of you guys just wish they would just get the hell off the phone okay or they would just go away but this is somebody who's also coming in towards you because their life is dull and boring right now okay this person could be under a lot of depression as well they could have the spirit of depression on them also watch out for like family members okay aunties uncles cousins whatever fear wants you to be very careful who you deal with at this time let me see let me hurry up y'all what else spirit Okay, we got the Chinese zodiac sign, the dragon. What I say, y'all, okay, this is the year of the dragon. Some of you guys could have been born in 64, 76, 88, 2000. Um, uh, something significant about the number 12 because it's here again. But this says many changes and opportunities this year. Intelligent, confident, powerful, gifted, justice, wisdom, and authority. Okay. We got closed throat chakra. Somebody tried to keep you from talking. Like I said, some of you guys could have been dealing with a narcissist. This could have been a parent, a romantic partner, but somebody wanted to keep you from speaking your truth, okay? Or speaking in general. But some of you guys, you're meant to be influencers and somebody could have tried to put a spell or curse on you to keep you from speaking your truth, okay? But I feel like this is being removed. Um, a lot of you guys, like I said, this is gonna end up returning to this person uh almost at the finish line so family there's something you're almost finished with okay <laughs> it's something you almost finished with and spirit wants you to keep going okay we got a girl so some of you guys could have a little girl okay or somebody got a little girl um but i feel like there's some type of justice that's going to be coming in um to a, a girl here a daughter okay karmic of your ex is watching so family a lot of you guys already know that there's a karmic of somebody that you was dealing with that's watching you at this time or keeping tabs on you okay um this is somebody who's suffering in silence and that's because they know that spirit is about to deal with them as above so below so divine justice is taking place in the spiritual realm in the physical realm as well um we got children are watching and listening so I feel like there's there could also be a child here that got information on a karmic. And this could be a karmic that's a mother, okay? Um, yeah, something like that. There's a child here that's going to get justice here, okay? Because they could have, um, this could be a mother that is all about money. Um, this is somebody who is very problematic or somebody who only chases man for money. Okay. There's some type of truth that's going to come out. Spirit wants you to keep your eyes on, on the road. Okay. That's physically, spiritually, whatever. Keep your eyes on the road, especially when you're driving, but I'm here and keep your eyes on your divine path. Okay. And then we got natural look. You could be going with the natural look right now or something about your natural look is very beautiful. And there's somebody that envy you of this. Okay. Like I said, you might not look like what you done been through and been verified. So yeah, there could be something you're about to get copyrighted. Okay. Or like uh, somebody could be doing a background check on you, but everything checks out. You are who you say you are a superstar okay yeah don't get it twisted okay <laughs> but yeah something about you being verified okay are you the truth or like spirit hired you to do this all right yeah i'm here ain't no shame in my game it surely ain't no shame in mine at all baby i love what i do 
Anybody ask me what I do, baby, I do everything. I'm a mama, I'm a nurse, I'm a psychic, I'm a tarot reader, I'm a spiritualist, uh, I'm a healer, I'm a channeler, baby. What, 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 what? Okay, I'm more than that. <laughs> Something about you guys are needing to own, own up to all of your gifts. And spirit is helping you to evolve your gifts so that you can live the life that you was destined to live and you can touch the life you was destined to touch. Okay? Y'all. Yeah. But anyway, y'all, let me get off of here because I don't been on here way too long. I ain't have time to do the ruins. I'll try to get y'all another reading out sooner or later. But I love y'all. Okay. And until we talk again.